Good afternoon, everyone. You are listening to Reflections of Community Outreach on 91.7 KOOP Hornsby, Austin. I am your host, Amanda Lyles, and I'm here today with a very exciting show. We have a couple of people here from the Chaotic Theater Company here in Austin. They're a new theater company, and I'd like to introduce um, those that we have in the studio today. We have Asia McMillan. Hello, Hello Asia. Hi, Amanda. We have Justin Laverne, you are the artistic director for the company. Right, that's correct. <coughs> Welcome to the studio. And James Jackson, you are the playwright. Yeah, Jim, James Jackson Leach. I'm sorry, James <laughs> Jackson Leach. You told me that ahead of time. Um, welcome to the studio today. We're very glad to have you. Can you guys share with us your vision about the arts and about theater in Austin? Oof. Well, uh, <laughs> well um, we want things to remain new. We, want, we don't want the, the you know, same old, same old every day. We want to keep bringing new things to people, so we bring in new audience. You know, people who haven't even thought about, oh, maybe I'll you know, go, go to the theater, go see a live play instead of going to, you know, to the movies. Because you know, a lot more interesting things happen uh, during live theater, you know, because there's actors, there are real people. They make mistakes. You might be there and see that mistake. Uh, it's just something more exciting, I think, than uh, movies themselves. It's more intimate in the moment. So when the show began, we were listening to a clip from the production Alice. Is that right? Right. That's and that right. is that's an upcoming production that you guys have in December, and it's um, an ad adaptation of Lewis Carroll's um, Invisibles of Glass. Uh huh. And do you guys want to talk about that a little bit? It's an adaptation of of both novels, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, compressed and combined and meshed. And that was actually the clip that you heard was recorded at Stinson Studios. Yeah, Stinson Recording Studios. From, uh, what was the engineer's name? Uh, his name was Rocky Tran. Yeah, he was amazing. Um, coming up a little bit, we'll hear another clip, but... We can, we can even hear that clip now, if you guys would like. I really enjoyed that first clip. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, the clip itself is actually from the scene uh, where Alice first meets the Cheshire Cat. Uh, the scene previously where she had, you know, been a little uneasy and stuff, so she thinks that everybody's against her and everything. So he comes in, and uh, she thinks, you know, she's gonna try to get help from this person, and little does she know that he's not really there to help her, just to confuse her even more. Do you have a place that you rehearse on a regular basis, or are you sort of just <coughs> making your way as you go along? Rehearsals start next week. Yeah, rehearsals start next week. Um, they are actually going to be um, in uh, the AMP warehouse. It's uh, Austin Art and Music Partnership. Um, they are a nonprofit group here uh, in Austin. Um, they help a lot of people with the arts and really try to expose people to di many different things. They um, offer space for, for artists who have like workshops and things like that. So they actually uh, let us uh, are going to let us uh, do our rehearsals there. Do you guys have anything else you want to tell our listeners today? Um, yeah, well, this is going to be a very exciting show. We are all very excited about it. All of our friends are very excited about it. And this is going to be something, um, this is going to be Alice, like you've never seen it before. No blue. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming in and being with us today. Asia, James Jackson Leach, and Justin Laverne, we appreciate you guys coming in to talk to us today. And um, I want to remind our listeners that um, the, the Reflections of Community Outreach is the Community Council show for Co-op Radio. The Co-op Community Council is a body of elected members and other volunteers that work with staff, volunteers, members, and the board of directors to ensure that Co-op is meeting its mission to support diverse programming and to be the community radio station that mainstream stations aren't able to be. The Community Council is just one way that you can get involved here at Co-op as a volunteer. Um, there are many ways to get involved here at Co-op. Co-op's run almost entirely by volunteers. Um, it's an amazing place, and we want to reach out to our Austin neighbors and invite you to attend the upcoming station orientation, where you can learn about volunteer opportunities and, and um, our apprenticeship program. It's, from, it's um, on November 9th from 7 to 9 at the Youth Lodge, which is at 2103 East Am Franklin in East Austin. If you have questions, you can email the Community Council at communitycouncil at co-op.org. Tune in next week for another um, episode of Reflections of Community Outreach, and your other host, Rachel Portnoy, will be in the studio then. Um, thank you so much for listening.